हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू गीक्स फॉर गीक्स सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट टुडेस प्रॉब्लम आर प्रॉब्लम नेम इज सॉर्टेड सीक्वेंस ऑफ साइज थ्री राइट सो लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट आर क्वेश्चन साइड यू आर गिवन एन आर ए आर आर यू नीड टू फाइंड एनी थ्री एलिमेंट्स इन दी आर ए सच दैट आर ए ऑफ आई इज लेस देन आर ए ऑफ जे एंड आर ए ऑफ जे इज लेस देन आर ए ऑफ के राइट एंड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर केस यू आर इंडेक्सिंग विद ऑल्सो लाइक दिस आई लेस देन जे एंड जे लेस देन के राइट सो Here the note point given to us is the output will be one if the subsequence returned by the function is present in the array, right? So output will be one. Okay, if the subsequence is not present in the array, then the return it return an empty array. The driver code will print zero in that case, right? So if the sequence returned by the function is not in the format as mentioned, then the output will be minus one, right? Okay, it means if it get wrong answer, right? In the wrong answer, it will give you the Minus one in that case, right? Okay. So let's see the part of first array, right? So in the first array, we are given these elements, which is one, two, or uh, double one and three, right? So in this case, if you see very carefully, my output will be one in that case, right? It means, or uh, your explanation part said a subsequence is there which is in the one, two, three part, right? Okay. So if you see this one, two, three. In this case, if you uh, focus here, your i value will be this, and j will be this, and k will be this, right? So your indexing part is okay, right? And if you see the value part, this is one, this is two, and this is three, right? So this is also okay. Be okay. So it means both the conditions are satisfied here, right? So in that case, we just have to return that particular part, that particular three values, right? Which is array i, array j, array k, right? And return that particular in vector form, and driver will code uh, print that particular as one, right? Okay, it means you are getting that point, right? Okay, so that's the thing which you have to do is right. So two conditions that you have to keep in mind. Okay, now let's see how we can solve the problem, right? So to solve the problem, what we have to do is I simply want if I pointing to here now, if my current value is here, for example, it's I, right? Okay, so let's take as j, right? Because the j is the middle, right? So when your j is pointing to that particular index, I want simple. I want any number which is k, for example, which is greater than two, right? Just focus here. Just check manually. You have greater value than two in the right side. Yes, we have, which is this, right? Okay. Now, if you are pointing to this part, just check in your left side of it. You have smaller value than two. Just tell me, yes or no? Yes, we have, right? Which is one. So in that case, I can say that or not, right? Yes, my values are one, two, three. These are the three values which satisfied my both the conditions, right? So here the intuition is very simple. If you are pointing to any point, right, where j is pointing to one, I want just greater value in the right side of it. I want smaller value than my j value. In the left side of it, right? So here the intuition came. I simply make two uh, vectors or array, right? So the first one is mini array, which stores the minimum value, and this is maximum array, which stores the maximum value, right? Now see how we can do that. So here I make the mini array of size same, which is four, right? Okay. So let me make here so that it will be looking good. Okay. This is my mini array. Right in that case, what I am doing is the first minimum value. It start from this. I simply write here one. Right now, after that, when I am pointing to here, I am asking this is mini or previous is mini. So they said two and one, which is mini. One is mini. Right now, I am pointing to here. I am asking, hey, array of i is mini or my minimum array ka previous is mini. They said this or this. They said both are equal. Just let's write one here also. Just check this point and check this point. Which is mini? One is mini. Now here, this or this? This said this is mini, right? So this is my minimum array, right? Which I make successfully, right? So let's make the maximum array now. So this is my maxi. So maximum. What I am doing is I want maximum in the right side of it. So in that case, what I am doing is I simply start from the end and I just simply write here three, right? Which is at the last of it, right? Okay. So let me write here. So in that case, uh, this is my last element, and by default, I write here three, right? That's it. Now, 
I simply want to make sure this particular element will be filled with maximum element. So I just compare that particular element with this particular element, which is me maximum three is maximum, right? Why we are doing that, right? So right now, for example, I just want to fill this element, that particular element, which is maximum of either the next element of it or my array of i, right? Okay. Now after that, I just want to ask from this element because I just want to fill index two. I'm asking array of two is maxi or maxi ka just greater element, just next element. They said this is three. This is one. Let's write here three. Okay. When I am here, this or this. They said three. Okay. After that, this or this. They said this. So we are successfully filled my maximum array as well, right? Okay. So that's the two step which you are doing, right? Okay. Now see very carefully. So what I am doing in the third case is I want three elements, right? So what I am doing is I simply run a loop from i equal to one till n minus one, right? Okay, so in that case, what I am doing is now see, I am pointing to this index, right? Okay, because I want the max one element in the left part, and I want the one element in the right part. In that case, we can check, right? So my range will be this, right? I can check here, I can check here, I can check here, right? Okay, because I want the one minimum one element in the left and minimum. Uh, one element in the right part, right? So my range will be this. That's why we just write i equal to one and i less than n minus one. Okay. Now see, this is my j value, right? And here I'm asking to mini part because your minimum part will be stored. Your minimum part will stored here. Okay. So see very carefully. Right now my i equal to one, right? So let me write here i equal to one. It means this is particular element j, right? Okay. This particular element will be j. I want i, which is in the left part. Now check in the mini part because that particular index will store the minimum element in the left of it, right? So what I am doing is I am asking, hey, array of i, are you greater than? Are you greater than mini of i, right? Mini of i. So this is mini of i, right? And so I am asking, what is array of i? Two. So you have minimum element in the right side of it. They said, let me ask from mini array, right? So I am pointing to array mini of i, right? So they said, okay, I have one. It means we have two and in the left of it, we have one, right? It means that particular part is correct. Now my full focus is I want the greatest element than two in the right side of it. In that case, we just have to ask from max of i. So what I'm doing is here I'm asking array of i, are you less than of max of i? They said, yes, we have. So because here we have three, right? Okay. So this particular element will contain the maximum element in the right side of it, right? So this is your two, this is your three, right? So both the conditions are satisfied. It means that that particular is my answer. So what I am returning is we just have to return in the uh, flow of it. One, two, three. So one will be the mini. So that's why we just return the mini i first. After that, return array of i first uh, in the second part and in the third part max of i right like in this order right now just imagine in that case when we are not able to find it in that particular case what we have to do is we just have to traverse this part okay sorry okay we just have to return uh traverse i equal to one i equal to two i equal to three right just imagine in this particular indexing part if we are not able to find that particular three elements which satisfy this my if condition right we immediately go out of the loop, right? What we have to return empty string because the quotient demand that part, right? Empty vector, right? Okay. Empty vector. We just have to return. So this is my simple intuition, right? So these are the things which you have to keep in mind, make the mini array, make the maxi array and store according to it, right? And just check this point, right? So these are the steps. So let's code this now. So let's first create the vector. So here I am creating the vector V, right? And uh, here I simply make array, how many size of that particular array we have, which is vector part, right? Now I create the mini array, which is of size n and maxi array, which is also the size of n, right? And we know that what I'm doing is I put the mini of first element as array of zero, right? And in the maxi part, in the last, which is n minus one, that is array of n minus one, like that. Okay. Now see. We just have to traverse from i equal to one 
till i less than n right okay so to fill mini of i which is mini of index 1 right now so we just have to compare min of either array of i which is my current element or one step back so what is one step back mini of i minus 1 right okay in the maxi part so last is already filled now i just want to fill second last part so how we can check n minus 1 will give me the last index part minus i this will give me the second last part so like that we just go one step back 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 right now here i want the max so i just want to compare of array of i right in the mini part array of i we have here maximum maxi of n minus 1 minus i i just want to update just compare with array of n minus 1 minus i right okay so that particular element see here very carefully so for example i just want to fill that particular element so here i am written max of n minus 1 minus i right equals to max of uh this is my array of i now because parallelly we have to extract that part right okay so that's why here i am written array of n minus 1 minus i so we just have to compare with the next value of it right so next value is this so what i what we have to write is max of n minus i right because next value is one step ahead right here we write n minus 1 minus i here we just have to ignore minus 1 because i want the next element of it right like that okay so let's complete this part okay so maximum of n minus i like that right now we are filled with minimum array and maximum array now what i am doing is i simply run a loop from i equal to 1 till n minus 1 right so in that case i simply want to ask hey, if array of i is greater than my mini of i and array of i is less than my maxi of i right in that case we just have to return simple uh, the first is minimum value right after that array of i value and after that maximum value right like that okay and at the end if we are not able to return anything in my for loop or uh, we just have to return the empty part okay so this is the flow of it let's check it's working or not yeah it's correct let's submit and check okay as you see all the cases are passed right so it's correct now let's talk about time complexity and space complexity so if you see the time complexity part what i'm doing is i simply return or uh, traverse the loop one time after that we just again traverse the loop one time right so every element will occur one time so my complexity will be time complexity will order of n plus order of n right so this will equals to order of 2 into n and 2 is constants let's ignore that part complexity will be order of n like that right now what is my space complexity extra space we are using we used to uh arrays right mini array and max array that particular part will be size will be order of n plus order of n that will equals to order of n right same part okay so that's it from this side so i hope you understand the solution and thank you so much